हेलो मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम वेलकम टू टी एस सीयर थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच हाउ आर यू आई एम अंजू मैम आई एम गुड यस अंजू मैम यस मैम आई थिंक वी आर अराउंड 28 पार्टिसिपेंट्स राइट सो विल यू प्लीज गिव अस 5 मिनट्स मोर मैम श्योर श्योर नॉट नॉट अ वरी नॉट अ वरी या थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू Good morning, Mega Ma'am. Good morning, Sonal Ma'am. Good morning. Yes, yes, Ma'am. Yeah, and welcome. Welcome yeah, thank for you the so much. lecture, and uh, it's a very good coordination from your side. Yeah, thank you so much. I think everyone joined, Doctor uh, Anju Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everyone is here. So, shall we start with the session, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Ashwiki, please start. A very good morning to one and all present here. Honorable resource person, Ms. Sonam Chavan, ma'am. Respected principal, ma'am, Dr. Mega Gopal. All our dear professor and all enthusiastic student teachers. 
I Harshwati Thakur, student teacher to teach Thakur Shamnarayan Education and Research. Would you like to welcome Look All for online workshop on developing a professional website for teaching and learning. Technology alone, it is not going to improve student achievement. The best combination is great teachers working with technology to engage students in the of learning. Then, as we start, I would like to request Ms. Shreya Mishra to come up on brief introduction about educator institution of educator institution and resource person. Over to you, Shreya. Thank you, Ashwati. Oh, good morning to one and all present here. I'm here to brief about up educators institution and our resource person for the day, Ms. Sonam Savanna. Up educators is a Google for education partner in India. And as a partner, they have taken the initiative of training 5,000 plus teachers to treat professional education website development. They believe it is essential for VA trainees to be well equipped to use digital tools to create a conducive and engaging learning environment. They have trained teachers and professors from nearly 4,000 plus schools and colleges in India. Up Educators is organizing a free workshop on creating an interactive and educational and engaging educational website using Google Sites. Participants will learn to create a website on Google platform, which is completely free for educators and requires no coding knowledge, is very easy to create and is mobile friendly and completely secure. So today our college, Chakur Shamnarayan College of Education and Research and UP Educators Institutions are collaborating for the workshop on developing a professional website for teaching and learning. And for this, we have amongst us Head of Academics, Ms. Sonam Savan Ma'am. Ms. Sonam Ma'am is an educator and mentor who has been associated with schools offering UK International Curriculum Cambridge, IGCSE, for past 14 years. Ma'am has completed her MA in Special Education, that is Learning Disability, from SNDT University. Ma'am is also a certified Google trainer and Microsoft educator trainer. She has been awarded the Global Teacher Accreditation with distinction by the British Council. Many congratulations, Ma'am. Having an immense experience in this field, it is great to know that Ma'am was invited by my government to interact with Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji over there Ma'am shared her views on the current scenario of inclusive education in schools in India. She has trained over 1,000 plus teachers in her career span. We welcome you, Ma'am. It is our honor to have you with us today. Over Thank to you, you so Ajit. much. Thank you. Uh, I think Ms. Harshruti, you are on mute. I'm so sorry. Yeah. No worries. Thank you, Shreya. Now, I would like to invite our principal, Dr. Mega Gokhe, ma'am, for welcome address. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Ali. I'm Dr. Mega Gokhe uh, from Thakur Shamaran College of Education and Research. Uh, welcome you all, specifically our special uh, resource person, Sonam, ma'am. And uh, it's a uh, Bright morning, and it's a glad welcome to you again, ma'am. Filled with the desires, hopes, and dreams all of us share. Um, respected our trustee, Sri Rakesh Singhji, our guest, my colleagues, and most special guest, um, warm welcome to all of you. Thakur, I'm going to tell you uh, the introduction of our college. Thakur Educational Trust was established in the year 1990 with the broad objective of lending a helping hand towards the welfare of the society. Thakur Education Group has established itself as a leading educational group in Mumbai in a very short span. 
The group is growing at a fast pace in terms of quality as well as number of courses offered in collaboration with leading institutes and universities. So uh, I again thank our educators to become a you know, collaborator and uh, uh, to tie up with our Thakur Shandaran College of Education and Research. Thank you, Sona Ma'am, for the same. Thakur Shandaran College you, of Education. You, Welcome, Ma'am. Uh, Thakur Shandaran Education of edu uh, Education and Research, which is also called as TSCR, is one of the leading education college in Mumbai. It prepares professionals to be a world leaders who provide leadership and exemplary educational services to improve the lives of the individual. Our vision is to be uh, to prepare the world leaders in the integration of teaching, learning, and research. Our college is very pro in preparation of professionals to be the world leaders who provide leadership and exemplary educational services to improve the lives of individuals in a changing and complex global society. Our mission is to provide outstanding educators and researchers through the art of teaching, learning, and research. TSCR has been a distinguished leader in teacher education. The infrastructure of the college is well equipped with modern facilities. The computer lab are provided with latest machines and software. The lab are provided, uh, library is fully equipped with the books which are readily available to the students and teachers. The library comprises of the spacious, airy and well-lit reading hall that provides, uh, you know, condu conductive ambience. Also, the college excelled in all fields, including the academics, sports, cultural activities and co-curricular activities. A host of activities were conducted at the college to impart quality exposure and conducive growth to the students. In spite of this routine work, we at TSCR give lots of exposures to our students, student teachers, to nurture the all-round development of students. It is essential to provide a strong support system for them. As an attempt for the SEM, we introduced the concept of even the guardian group mentorship in our college. And to maintain the system, sustainability of nature, the various activities done at the environmental workshop, multiply the message and train lasers sponsored by the uh, international climate change. Recently, we had a workshop on the uh, international workshop map on the critical thinking in teaching and learning process. Okay. Also, the college had also participated in the various annual festival in the extension department, DLLE of uh, Mumbai. And it is the Udan festival, wherein they are uh, come up with the laurels to the college with their uh, initiative and the presentation. Also, Alumni Association is very actively functioning in our college. We have a best campus wherein last year we uh, did with the 100% campus recruitment from our college. So this is a very special characteristics of our college. Also the self-defense yoga meditation program, then ICT intervening programs, then enhancement of the creativity, all these are the certification courses. We are uh, you know, uh, very pro active, uh, our college is very proactive with the coordination of the whole TSCR team and all professors included in the as a coordinators and uh, uh, students are getting the exposures for the same. Also, we are having various seminars and workshops organized in our college to give maximum exposure and learning experiences to the student teachers who are the builders of the society. Our faculty members are also getting invited as a resource persons to conduct academic activities for judging the exhibitions in other institutions. Recently, in the, uh, recently, I also presented for the United Nations, that is for the UNESCO, my special course of enhancing the creativity among the teachers. So in the same way, others, others, uh, all the other faculties also involved in the different things. Um, Education and competition are the two important aspects of a student's life. 
which are provided through intra and inter school competitions to enhance their skills and excel in areas beyond academics so uh, ma'am uh, uh, with your coordination so no ma'am uh, we def we are uh, here with you to get the expertise in how to prepare the webs professional pro uh, websites for the teaching and learning process yeah so yeah. i'm very happy to uh, you know uh, welcome you again and thank, thank you, you so much. much for accepting everything and coordinating the same thank you thank you so much thank you yes shruti over to you shruti okay thank you ma'am uh, shall we start ma'am yeah yes can we start with the yes, workshop yes, yes all right yes. great great i just present my screen okay all right so yes a very warm welcome the college has given me so i'm extremely happy thank you mega ma'am thank you anju ma'am and yes you've already introduced myself i usually have a presentation slide which introduces myself but i don't think i'll need the have the need to do any any of that anymore but yes um, uh, welcome you all once again from the team of up educators to the workshop on website development we are a google for education a partner company and as uh, somebody said that we are here to train 5000 plus pa trainees to understand how you could make these professional website with such ease and use it in your classroom and in teaching and learning purpose and a little bit about our company we are a google for educational partner company we've been offering a lot of training programs our core expertise is to train teachers equip teachers with technology uh, we've been mostly training teachers who are already in job or have already had number of years of experience it's been just very recently maybe in last 15 days that we've started training even the ba trainees especially the ones through our workshops and yes we've trained over 4000 plus educators from 2000 plus schools and colleges we've also trained or out of these 4000 around 350 plus have become google or microsoft certified and that's about me i have started my journey 14 years back somebody who was exactly like you a teacher trainee became more de definitely mine was not general ed it was special ed so did all of that did a lot of different kind of work became an advisor and then now i've become a trainer and here i am to give or share all the things that i have about technology and how to use that effectively in classrooms right so today we are going to learn how to make a website and we are going to use google sites for the same now before i tell you what is it that we can do through this website i'm going to start a poll right now you will all get a pop up question on your screen and i wish you all to put in your input it's a simple question it is have you made a website in the past okay so that's the question you have to mark either a yes or a no okay so i'm just launching the poll and please mark whether you made a professional website or any website in the past all right great yes so we have the percentage i'll definitely read out we have some who said yes and there's some there are many who said no so around 39 40 40 okay out of 47 40 have answered so pretty good okay yes we still have some who are answering so great so to see the ratio of what i'm getting on my screen is the yeses the ones who have made website is just 14% of the total number of people who joined in and the nos are 86% okay so yes we have this kind of differences okay and most of the questions i take uh, it is like that i'm glad at least 14% in 6 out of who done the poll 
I've said they have made a website in the past. Usually I tend to get one, zero or two. So great if you made a website, um, but let's see how you could make a website and make it for the teaching and learning purpose. OK, so I'm going to end this poll right now and let's go back to our presentation. So. Google site, what is it that you could do with Google sites? OK, so you could make number of types of things with the Google site. One is you could make a class or a college website. You could even create your professional portfolio. Now, what do I mean by a professional portfolio? Now, everybody knows that if you are a first year student of B ed, another one more year in the college, and then you have to apply for a job out elsewhere. If you are a year two student, then in the next this coming academic year in 23, you will have to apply before that. Now, we all know that, yes, we need to make a resume. Now, resume is Ideally, if you read online, they will say do not have a resume more than a page to two page. Now, resume is also very static. Static by means it can't change. It's not dynamic. You know, it, it, it doesn't have interactivity in that. And you can't put everything on your resume also. But you could make a professional portfolio along with a resume. Put your link in that and see the difference that you have in the eyes of the person who's going through your resume. OK, I will be showing you an example of how a professional resume could be made. OK, once I just show you some examples in another five minutes, then we will start making one ourselves. OK, and yes, you can also make a department website. OK, so I'll show you examples of all of this. Now, what are the benefits of making websites through Google Sites? One, it does not involve any kind of cost. You just simply need a Gmail account. You don't need to know coding. It's very simple to learn. It's basically click, write, click, drop, just those things that you have to do. And yes, you can integrate a number of applications, various numbers of applications that you have. So why, when I say application, I mean, let's say, a uh, doc, a slide, a presentation, you could even add a form. So a number of things can be added in the site. Now, I, I just mentioned all the benefits, okay? They're the same thing that I've written here on the site. You could create a professional website because it gives you an online presence. You could make a class website where you could show academic materials, student success stories, classroom activities, projects, of the students can be displayed. If you are in a college, so you could, if you are organizing a college event, you could make an event website, okay? And this all is indirectly communicating that how good you are in using technology, all right? Now, let's have a look at these few professional websites, okay? Now, first one I'm going to show you is the department website. The second one is the pro, uh, professional portfolio or the teacher website. And the third one is like a association. If you have like a parent teacher association, a student association, you could make these websites. OK, so let me just share this with you. All right, let's go to the first one. OK, so science department. Now, this is either a department website or you can even have something very similar for a classroom as well. You may be a class teacher for a class. You could even make it for your own subject. OK, let's say you're not a class teacher. You're just going to teach one subject. You can make a website. Now, what is it that you could do and what is it that you can share on your website? You can share any kind of activities that your department or your class has conducted with pictures, with uh, captions and all of that. You could share any kind of work the department is doing. So like a research theme, research project, certain impact. OK, you could share success stories of your students. So why is the success story for important? This is going to encourage your student to do much better every time in your class because they know 
that you are going to write about them, are going to publish on their website. And that's very, very proud because this website is going to be used by all the parents of the class. So you can have such kind of success stories with their pictures on your website. Next, if you are having any kind of workshop for students, okay, or for parents, you could even embed a workshop registration form. You could write about the workshop, add a registration form. So you have every kind of communication that you can do through your website. Yes, of course, if it's a department website, you could put in your faculty members, the names, their profile, and all of that. Now, as a teacher, you could even share your learning resources. Okay, so here is an example of study material. So you could add a presentation in your website. You can even add any document in your website. So all of that kind of material also will be easily shared. And you don't have to keep sending emails to the students with resources. Everything is here. Come here, have a look at it and check for things. What else you can do? You can even share a video gallery. We try to tell the students, you know, sometimes watch videos back home, okay? Watch a video on the topic and come back in the class next time so that we can discuss about this topic. Now, on YouTube, there are so many videos on one single topic. The student is going to be utterly confused which one to check. What if you could make a video gallery topic-wise and put it in your website and just tell the student, okay, go to this site, our website. Video gallery has been made. I've put the name of the topic. These are four videos which you need to check. So this is how you can curate any kind of video gallery too for resource purpose. You can even add your own videos, okay? If you've created videos for any topic, concept understanding you can put it up on this website also you can even share your calendar so what kind of calendar timetable okay maybe you have been a teacher who even is okay with um, you know students leave school by one o'clock two o'clock and then you know teachers are there usually in schools till three or four now students may have doubts to ask you could even create your appointment slot and students can book your appointments and ask queries whenever they want to. So it is not just waiting that, okay, I will meet this teacher tomorrow and then I will ask, or I have to ask it only in front of everybody. You know, all kids are not comfortable in that. So you could have this mechanism and students can ask their queries whenever they want. Any kind of FAQs you want for the parents, you can put it up. So... A lot of this kind of stuff can be put up. Now, if you are creating a professional portfolio, okay, where you want to showcase what you as a teacher are doing. First, put about all your achievements, okay, like this. You can put about the kind of projects you've done in your BA, in your college times. What are the subjects that you can teach? So you could put things about that. Any kind of study material. Now, if you are somebody who's going to go out and look for a job, you can even put your demo webs, demo videos. You could put your lesson plans. You could put any kind of reference material which tells the person that, okay, this is what this person is capable of. If you are somebody who is writing blogs, even that can be put up over here. So blogs can be added on your website. So this is what will give a very good understanding about who you as a person are, okay? And it becomes very easy then, you know, when to, because all schools, you do not maybe knowing about it, but schools get so many resumes at the end of every year. And you know, to go through each one of them, they do not spend more than six to 10 seconds. I worked at that position, just uh, six months back, I was working with a school where my job was definitely a lot of other things, but one of them was to get best resources for the school. And I know how I used to check. Scan, flip, change if the person doesn't have mentioned any kind of technology written, has not written a good resume. So this gives a very great outcome 
because you are trying to tell the person this is what i'm capable of even before they have even called you okay and the last yes as i said you could create any kind of association website video can have something on this lines okay now coming back to our presentation and a lot of me talking we are now going to create one website okay so for that everybody needs to go on this link i'm going to put it up in the chat as well the link is www.sites.google.com i hope you have a laptop or a desktop in front of you it going to get very difficult to do it on a phone okay yes, so we are happy great great man so please ensure you go to google chrome and type this url and i'm putting up the same in the chat as well for everybody is www.sites.google.com okay so please do that and i'm also going to do the same right so it's www.sites.google.com all right now i know a lot of you may not want to speak and ask questions but do not feel that it is very wrong to ask any question anything that you want me to repeat please be free if you don't want to say it loud enough you can chat with me you have the chat which can have come directly to me also so that nobody else will get to know who is asked what query i will not take names and anything in terms of repetition of steps please please ask because this is what you are going to learn today and this is what you can then apply it in your classroom whenever you want so it's important for you to understand each and every feature and then definitely the creativity is yours how you want to structure it what all you information you want to put it up that definitely is up to you but the structure how to create a website all of that i'm going to teach today so i'll appreciate when you are ready when i say are you all done you can use the digital thumbs up to tell me so that i know that yes it's time for me to move on all right now when you have reached this website you will see there is a list of ready made templates so templates are nothing but ready made structures which are available which you can use not that you can't you can even click here and you will get like a huge set of templates but what we are going to do is we are going to start from a blank template okay we are not going to have anything there we are going to build one completely from scratch so for that we need to click on this plus sign which says blank template or if you are on this page it is at the same position it's plus blank template so click on it and you will come to a website page which says untitled sites on the left hand side top and on the center it say your page title okay everybody is reached here can i have some thumbs up anybody who still doing could raise hand and say okay kindly wait for me all right still okay great all right cheek great now the first thing we are going to do when you create any kind of document on your computer you know you need to give a name to the document because in future if i have to find this document i need to know its name so first thing we are going to do is give this me this website a name so for that you need to click on this untitled site okay and you need to give a name so today we are going to, we are all creating i am not creating my first website but you all are creating a first website let's give a name first my first website okay my first website you can give any name i am giving it that you can copy the same okay and once you've done that click on enter okay so please write the name of the website just click there remove untitled site and just type the name whatever you want to give your file a name i have written my first website now the next thing we are going to do is give a name to our page okay so i am going to write and make a website on 
class 8 science. Okay, that's the name of my website. I'm going to give the title. It's not the name of the website, basically the title of the website. I'm going to call it class 8 science. I'm going to use some features which are available here. Basically, there's a font change you want to do, you can do, and the font size you can change. So I'm going to just do this a little chota. Okay, I'm going to make it a little small so that it just comes in one line. You can do the same. If you don't want to also, it's okay. So yeah, this is what I have done. I've made it a little smaller. So when you write any kind of text inside, you will always get this band, okay, which will have the font, the font size, certain bold, titling, underline, color change, okay, right align, left align. This link part we are going to learn, so I'm going to skip for the time being. We learn this, okay? And you want to delete this off also, you can just click on this delete button and it will be off, okay? Now, I just open this one website for your reference so that every time I talk, it will be easier for you to relate. The class, the website that I have is this one. Okay, now if you see this website, you have a picture in the background, okay? So does this one also have, but it is very dull in color. I do not like it. So I want to change this background picture. Now, how do I make that change? So just keep your cursor over this gray space. You will see this box coming up on this left and bottom corner. You need to click on change image. Either you have two options. You upload it if you have an image from your computer. So you click on upload and put up any image you have it on your computer. But if you do not have, no worries, we will find an image from the internet. So you click on select image. And here you again have some options which you can use from. You can even search. Okay, even search. So we will search an image on Google and then we'll pick up one and we'll put it up in the background. So I'm going to call this like a school building image. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up one out of these. So let me just pick up this first second one. Just click on that and click on select, which is at the bottom. Okay, so I repeat again what I said. We are, I have just changed the background picture. Now, if you keep your mouse over that picture, you will see that there is a change image option. If you click there, you have an option to either upload it from your computer or select an image from the internet. Now, I do not have anything from my computer, so I'm going to search for it from the web. So click on select image, and I go to search. You can even search for whatever picture you would want. Click on that image, and click on select, and the picture will get added. So let's try again, school building. So let's say I want this picture select and the picture has gone changed all right so is this clear we did three things we gave a name to our site we gave a page title and we changed the background on that page title is this clear any questions <clears throat> Okay, great. So I'm getting thumbs up and I've get, got no question in the chat. That means I can move on and I'm going to do that. So now we are going to create something like this. Okay, we are going to put some activity picture and we are going to then put some video also. Okay, on the home page. So how do I get this band? Okay, this red band. I can come to insert on this right hand side and I have a text box as an option. So I click on the text box and then whatever I want, I will write. So I let's call this activities. Okay, I want to display the activities of my class. So I put activities. All right. And I want it a little bigger in size. Okay, the font to be a little bigger. So I will select this and I just increase the font from here. So I'll keep it to say 24. Okay, you could even change the font type. I'm not changing it, but you can change it. All right, 
So this is what we've done. Same thing. Okay, we put a text box. We put a text box. But one thing is still different. It has a color in the background. Ours is white. So how do you get a color in the background? So for that, keep your cursor on that text. You will see these three things appearing on the left hand side. First one is color, selection color. Second one is duplicate. Third one, if I want to delete the text box. So first one I have select and I have three style. Style one is basically the white one. Style two is gray and style two is a good solid color. So I'll pick the style three. Okay. And here I have the text box, which is now color. And my website has started looking better. Okay. Now we need to add boxes like these. So for that, we need to come to this option content blocks now in content blocks we are going to take right now the one which has two blocks you can take any other also but right now to practice we are going to one take the two one so click there and you will automatically have the content block being added here okay now again we need to add pictures here we have to put a heading for what activity it is and we can put some kind of description in the last box. So let's put a activity. Again, you will have two options. Either upload from your computer. The first one, which is that. Second one says you can select. Again, search on the internet. Or you can even search if you have a picture on your drive. You see the third option. From drive. So in Google Drive, I'm sure everybody knows about Google Drive. Must have used it often. So here, if you have any pictures stored from there also, you can pick up picture. So right now we will select it from internet. You select image. Google search, Google image search. You go there and there you can search for your image. So let's take the activity science exhibition. It's a science website. I'll take that. Okay. And let me take this option, first one only, and I will say insert. So automatically the image will get adjusted as per the box size. You do not have to worry. Then the first option which is there, you can put the name of the event and the screen box which you have below it, you can put some description. So let's put the name of this event. Science exhibition. And here I'll put, okay, some information about it. The science exhibition was conducted on 30th September 2022. Okay, and that's definitely you can put more information. So this is one space you can have, but you can keep putting your upcoming, whichever recently done events have been done. Okay, those images could be coming over here so that whenever a person opens your website, that's what they get to see. Okay, so that's what you can put up images like this over here. Now, the second one, somebody is going to unmute themselves and going to tell me how do I do this? Same thing we have to do in the second block. How do I do it? Anybody can volunteer? Ma'am. Yes. Yes, Shreya. Ma'am, uh, press on the yeah, center. That is the plus sign. Plus icon. sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can select it from select image because mm -hmm. right now we don't have it from guys. Okay. Again, we can go to Google image search. Okay. Search for the image we want. Uh, okay. It. So will will which image should we select now? Science. Yeah, man. Science project. No, science. Let's say um, science activity. No science activity. We we'll take science the um, puzzles. Can we go for laboratory one? Yeah, puzzles. Yeah. Puzzles, puzzles. Let's say something on science puzzle. Okay, there's nothing that comes in. Let's see something else. So science 
quiz. Okay, let's take quizzes. An event on science quiz that we have. So quiz in school. Okay, so let's take, take this one. First image I'll take and then I insert. Okay, and then what do I do? Shreya? Write the description about it now. Okay, like what about the first box? What about the first quiz box? We can write? Yes, science quiz. quiz for students from yeah, science quiz. Yeah, so we can write some description. The students of grade eight were competing each other in the annual science competition. Okay. So everybody has done these two, added a text box, added a color in the text box, added a layout, we put up picture, we added the, uh, what do you call, the title of the activity and we gave some description. Everybody is done here, anybody still doing, raise your hand if you are doing it, I'll wait. Okay, three, please do it quick. If you have finished doing it, put your lower your hand too, else I'll have to keep waiting. Yes. We have to add only two images. Can we add more? Yes, ma'am. You can do up till four. Here it's okay. given. Three, four, that's the max. You can do. Or you will have to then individually arrange. But more than four will become too cramped. So I think three is good. Four will look something like this. It's there in this is four. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so here is one. This is for two. This is just images. This is for three. This is two in a different pattern. And this is four. Okay. Vaishnavi, Shreya, Namrata, are you done? Then please lower your hands if you are done. Okay, great. Chalo. Now we are going to add a video library like this at the bottom. So same thing we are going to do. Text box and the layout for two boxes. Okay, so do that independently. I am going to give instructions. But if you know it, do this text box thing. Give a title video gallery and then put a layout of two and then wait. Because then how to add the videos, I will show you. Okay, so after this, we are going to add a text box. I'm going to call it video gallery. Increase the font to 24 because that's what I kept before. So try and keep those commonalities very clear. Change the background from here. Okay. And then add the layout of two. Okay. Now, one thing you need to remember that in Google site, everything is auto save. You must see on the top very, very lightly it's written in gray, all changes save in drive. Okay, so you need to not remember, you don't have to click on some save icon here. Everything happens on its own virtually. Okay, it's auto synchronized. Now we are going to add a video here again. Two options, you put it up from your computer if you have a video, okay, or you pick it from YouTube. Now, in compute from the computer, it is ideally not advised to put it up because that makes the website too heavy to load and open. So people usually put up the videos from YouTube. So you could upload your video on YouTube and then put it up your, on your website if it is your video or a school video or an activity video. Okay, now let's create a video gallery. So how do I come either upload or either as an option of YouTube? So I click on YouTube, search for the video. So let's take a video on science. 
topic uh, of photosynthesis. Okay, pick up any one video right now for the time being. The first one I'm taking up and click on select. Okay, so the video, actually when you put up the video here, the student, I'll show you this after one more step, how the student directly gets to watch the video here. He doesn't have to even move out of this website. He'll be able to see the video right here. Now you could give a title to this video. So photosynthesis is a topic. And definitely you can give description. Now I'm not going to do for this one. I'm going to leave it blank. But you can put any kind of description you want. Okay. Now somebody tell me the second. How do I complete this block for the video? Somebody other than Shreyana this time. Ma'am, select the four plus icon. Okay. And then then uh, this YouTube option. Okay. And uh, we can add a chemistry what? experiment video. Okay, chemistry experiment. Give me a topic. Uh, indicators. Okay. Indicators, okay. Okay, uh, let me take uh, this one I'm taking, the red cabbage juice. Okay, so small video. Yeah. And select. Select. And then I'll have to, what title should I give? Experiment on indicators. Uh, okay, experiment on indicator. No, we can write acid-base indicator. Okay. Acid-base indicator. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is how you will be able to add your videos. Now, till somebody who's still doing this, I show you how you can check this website which you just made. How we will look when the given to students or when you publish this. So for that, you can come to this top right hand side. On this side, you have these arrows. And then you have an icon which is, if you keep your mouse over it, it says preview. Basically, it's a mobile and a laptop kind of an icon. So that if you click, you will actually see your website, how it's going to look when you give it to the student. So this is how it's going to look. And here, if I play this video, you see the video has actually started playing right here. You just can see, click here and play it in the full screen. And once he's done, he can exit. Okay. So now this here you have one tab which says this is what you will see how the website looks on a laptop or a desktop. The left icon will show you how this website is going to look on a tab. And this one will show you how the website will look on a mobile. So these are the four, three ways in which you will be able to see your website. Mobile or phone, tab or the large screen which is basically like desktop laptop okay now if you want to come out of it there's a cross sign just click there you'll come back to your editable website okay clear all of this everybody questions uh ma'am one small doubt yeah yes ma'am uh, ma'am, can you just uh, explain again how to put that library, ma'am? I just... Uh, library? This, I mean, this uh, website. The video. For this photosynthesis, you had create one... Uh, yes, video gallery. Yes, ma'am, this video gallery. So what part you want me to explain how to create this text box or how to add the videos? Correct, correct. Not, not add videos that I got, ma'am. Only this template, how to make video gallery. This, this, where I've written video gallery, that you want me to tell you? Yes, yes, ma'am. Ah, that's the same thing we did with activities, no? Same thing. Ma'am, that, that to... the activity also, I got confused. So once again, yeah, insert, particular... insert text box. Achha, okay. And then write whatever activity, say, maybe say photos. Okay. I just okay. increase the size of this a little to 24. And I gave a background color to this. Oh, that's okay. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. I'll delete this. Uh, okay, everybody, clear. Yes. 
uh, I have a one doubt. Uh, where we have written yeah. activities, how will we change the color of the background? How will change the color of the background? Okay, I'll teach. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Only one single color is coming there. No? Right now, only one single color will come. Mm. I'll be sure. Right. By default, it is blue in color. Right. That's what you are trying to say. Yes. How do you want to change it? Yes. Ah, I'm teaching next. Wait, I'll teach next. Okay. Now, clear everybody. Now, I don't like this blue color at all. Okay. I don't want my website to look in blue color. So, how can I change colors of my website? Okay. Not just the color, but the fonts and everything. So all that can be done in themes. So you have insert pages and themes. Click on themes and here you can have various things are there available. And in each theme, you can even change color. So I want probably, let's say, a purple, a pink, sorry, or a purple or green. I can change it. I can change the font styles also from here if I want to. Or I don't like the style at all. I want to shift directly to, say, level. This is one of the style. I want to change it to say this color or the blue color like this. So you can just change from one website to the other very easily. And you just need to change with this. Okay, diplomat. So there are various types impression. Okay, so you can choose any from here. Okay, let me just take this yellow one level yellow have done so change the colors you can change to more colors from here there's a or is it there's an icon of change of color so you can choose any other color from these five also okay so clear everybody how to change thank colors you, thank you okay now Websites always have multiple pages. You can see on this one. It's not just in one that everything has been put. So how do we add more pages? So for that, we need to come to pages and just click on the plus sign. Just click on the plus sign and we'll give a name to our page class material. Okay. And you will see a page that has up, up, appeared on top. So now you have home which is where you've put your first thing and then you have class material. Now we are going to add one more. Okay. So again, click on the plus sign and you will say contact me or contact us. Put in. Okay. So here you have home, class material and contact us. Three one. Okay. Now home, we are not going to add anything more because we've got like good two, three things. Now, whatever we'll add, because we have to learn more things because websites just don't have images and text and everything. They even have more things. As I showed you, you can put your material. So how will you do that? So make sure you all are on the option class material. You could select from on from the top here so that you come to this page, which is blank right now and have a center name class material. Okay, now we will add some material for the students. What okay. can we add? So the first thing let's add a material is uh, any kind of document. Okay, so in Google, the three document, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint have different names. Their function is the same. They do exactly the same thing like what Word does, what Excel does, and what PowerPoint does. But here the word is called docs. So where is that available? In, in insert, just scroll a little down and you will see docs, slides and sheet. So we are going to add any of this. We are going to add, actually we are going to add a slide. Okay. But you can add a doc as well or you can add a sheet as well. And if you do not have anything, just have a look on how to do it. Because for this, you will have to have something from your drive. So if you don't have a doc slide or a sheet, then you just have to see right now. Okay. So let's click on slides and I'll get number of slides that I have on my web on my on my calendar. So right now I don't think I have it on the same topic. So I'm just going to pick up whatever I have 
right now. Okay, so let's take this. It's seven wonders of the world. Okay, so I click on it and I click on insert. So the entire light is come over here and the student can actually, if you go to the preview and check, the student will be able to go through the slides right from here. And if he wants to look at a bigger picture, he just needs to click here. It opens up completely in a bigger form. Okay. So this is how you can add any document which is available in your website. Also, if you make any change in your web on your slide or on a document, it will reflect automatically over here. Okay, so it happens in real time. Okay, so docs, slide, sheets. These are the three things which you could do. Or if you want to add a PDF, even that can be done. So you could add a PDF again, either from the drive. Okay, or yeah, that's the only possible thing. So you can click on drive and then pick up any PDF. If you again have, you can do it. I'll just check what I'm doing right now. So I want a PDF. Let me see if I have PDF. Okay, let's take this. I have a planner. Okay, so this is a planner I have put. Study plan or anything. You can put an entire planner of your class also. Okay, so this is what you can do as materials that you can give students. Is this clear, everyone? What kind of things you can add? The dog, yes, ma'am, or the slide, or the sheet. Sheet is nothing but Excel. Docs is Word, and slide is PowerPoint. Okay. Now, what if we want to create information, or we want to share information which is from another website? Okay. Like you have liked some article on a topic. And you want to put that in your website and want the students to read it. So what you could do is use a concept called hyperlink. Okay. Now, how do we add a hyperlink? So let's do that. Now, click on insert to text box. Okay. And here we will write, okay. Must read article. Okay. Click here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this text and in this word click here, we are going to add a link so that when the child clicks there, he's going to be redirected to a website article which I want him to read. Okay. Now, first we need to search for a website article. So let's click and find some uh, fun facts on time. Okay, I just pick up any one. So let's take, say, this one. Just pick up any one and take the copy the URL. Control C and come back to your website. Okay, so please find one article, any article from the internet where you want to add it on your website. Okay, I'm waiting for you all to first. For for one okay yeah. now once you've done finding an article just pick up any first second article that's available on the internet do not try to check whether the content is good right now right now we need to learn how to do this later on definitely pick up one article which you think is a one right appropriate one for the students to read mm -hmm. so pick that article i went to the article i copied its url i came back to my website I selected this text, click here. When I select this text, I have an option of link here. Next to this A and an underline, there's a link, insert link option. I click here and where you have the option to write link, I paste my URL. Okay, so what I did, I repeat again. I took the article link from here. I came back to my website. I selected this word click here. I click on this icon which says insert link. And there in link, I pasted my link. Okay. And once I've done that, I click on apply. 
So now when you go and check in a review, you will get to see that this link is, if I click here, it is going to open up. So the child can now read the article from my website. So he doesn't have to take the efforts of looking for searching for it. And here he can directly come. I have given them must read website, must visit website. You can like make a list of things also. Okay. Clear how to put a link of an external website in your uh, in your website. Yes, ma'am. Must have, uh, it can be anything, you know, you can have a title and have multiple one, two, three, four, five bullet points you can put. Okay. Website num names you can put, fun facts or uh, you can have uh, experiments which you can do at home. I'm talking about all sciences, but yes, you can have it for all subjects. Okay. If it is mathematics, you can have uh, uh, puzzles on mathematics. Okay. Uh, some quizzes on mathematics. If you are a language teacher or social studies teacher, definitely you can ask the students to read some novel reviews which are available. So those kind of links can be put up from the internet. Okay. All right. Okay. Last thing here, we will do something called as image carousal. Now that you may have noticed, you know, sometimes in websites, you have an option to put multiple images and they can be like swipe, 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 they can move. That's called image carousal. So how do you add an image carousal? So here, if you come down, you have an option called image carousal. Click there and for an image carousal to work, minimum two photos are required. That's written here very clearly. A carousal must have at least two images. Now I'm going to put photos or images of famous scientists in my carousal, okay? So I say add image, again upload or select from the computer internet. So select image, Google search, famous scientist. Okay, so this is Mr. Einstein. I don't know everybody, but yes, you can select whichever pictures you want at one go. You don't have to click on one picture, insert another picture, insert. You can select multiple pictures here. So let me take this one. This one. Okay. And maybe one more. I'll take, I'll take this one. Okay. So I took four pictures and then I click on insert. So here you will have four pictures. And when you click on insert, these four pictures will have got added on your system. Again, to check how it works, go to the preview and check. So here you have like this. Okay, so they can change the picture the way they want. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. How can we select three, four pictures together? Yes, ma'am. You can. You can just click, 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 click on more pictures, all the pictures you want. I'll add another image for thousand. One time, only one picture can be selected. No, in image carousal, you can do multiple pictures. Okay. You will get at the bottom number of pictures selected. So let me just put something. Okay. The science pack. Okay, let's see what I have value. Okay, so let's say these two. So I selected one. You will see at the bottom, it says one selected. I select one more. It will say two selected, three selected, four selected. And let's say if it doesn't, you are done putting some. You want to still come and put more? Please a plus sign and do the same thing again. So even later, if you want to add more pictures, you can come back and edit this and add more pictures. Okay. Any questions anybody has? <clears throat> sure. Now, go to the next page. Contact us. Okay, now we'll add something which is related to contact us here. One, we are going to add a register, a query form. Second, we are going to add our map location. And third, we are going to add our social media links. That's very important nowadays. So how are we going to do all of this? 
So for forms, again, you have an option of forms here at the bottom. So if you have any kind of form on your web, on your drive right now, just pick that up and put it up, okay? So forms, click there. Your forms on from your drive will all appear here, and then you can pick up any one, okay? So I have a query form. I'll just take this one and insert, okay? So I have added a form. I can decrease its size by just using this size on the side. No, I want to make it a little chota. So, thoda side say I can make it chota. Okay, so this is kind how you can add any form. You have to make sure your form is ready. Only then you will be able to insert it here. You can't make a form directly here. You will have to make it on Google Forms and then add a form. Okay, now also you can add a map. So, if you have to give your location or any of that kind, you have an option of maps or about docs. Put your location and wo map aapka So let's say I am in Karga, Navi Mumbai. So it will show an area. It will show whatever like I can like, let's say I am at Cafe Madras. Okay. So that specific place also will come. So if your college name is there, that also will come. Thakur Swami Narayan College. So see, it's come. And then you can select it. It will get inserted. Okay. So this is how you can add maps also. Clear the two things, forms and maps. Okay, last thing that we will learn in terms of adding, then we need to know how to publish this website and share it with others. So how do you add a social media link? So here you have an option called social links. It is about placeholder. Okay, so social links. Sorry, I had to mute because there was a noise there. Now, you can put the logo of that social media web uh, company and you put your link here. Now, I'm sure everybody knows how to get the link. Anybody who doesn't know how to get your, what do you say, social media links, then I'll show you mine. Else, I'll just start pasting my links to show you how it works. So, there's a difference between the handle. So that is at the rate, whatever your name is on social media. But there is a link, like it will be HTTPS, www.facebook.com forward slash, and then your handle name will be there. So that whole part needs to be pasted here, not just your handle. Like, for example, my Twitter is educator.sonam. I can't just write so much. It is wrong. Okay. So the whole link. Now, how do I first add a logo of that company? So plus, again, from your computer or online, pick up the picture, Google image search, Facebook icon, pick that picture and insert it. Next, I'll put up the LinkedIn. And you can put as many as you want. Like there's an option even to add more. Right now there you can see three, but you can add as many as you want. I'm just going to add two. You can add Instagram, Pinterest, whatever your Twitter, all of that. Now, paste your URL. So mine, I'm just going to type. Okay. And this is... Also same. I think. Okay. If you don't know what it is, open that um, social media website and copy. Go to your profile and copy the link. Does anybody want me to show you how to do it? Even if one person is putting their hand up, I'll show it. Is that I don't did not want to show my social media account. 
So anybody who wants me to show how to open up your social media, get your social media link. You can put it up in the chat. Okay, I think everybody knows that. So I'm just going to type my. Okay. And click on insert. Okay, so here you have your social media links very clearly. Again, if you go to your preview, you will see all of that. And if somebody clicks on that social media link, they'll definitely be able to log in, but definitely their own logins are required. Okay, so this is how you can add any social media links you want. Okay, is this clear everybody? Is this clear? Okay. While I'm doing it, I'll give you a minute to complete this three thing. Yeah. Yes. In the insert button, when I'm clicking, so all these icons are not coming back. Bottom divider and all. Yeah, yeah. You go down. Okay. You go down. Are you not seeing it? Okay, okay. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay, can we move ahead? Can we move ahead? We need to publish our website now so that we can get, get our website link so that we can share it with our students or with each other right now for the time being. Okay. So for publishing the website, it is just in one click that we can do with the icon publish. Okay, so this is a button for publishing. You click there. Okay, you need to put a web address. Okay, so a web address can be anything. It can be your name. It can be your class name. If these web addresses have been taken in, like for example, I show you, if I put my name, it will say, it's a great address, but it's already been taken. Then I can't use this. Then I have to think of something else. So I will say, say class eight times. Huh. So if it is available, it will show a tick like this. So what I did was I clicked on publish. It asked me to put a web address. Sometimes it automatically also suggests a web address. So you can even change it. It's not that you have to keep that one. So class eight dash science is what I'm putting. Okay. And then you have an option to keep your website either restricted that only your students will be able to see because you know, sometimes we make a website and it has a lot of material for students and we don't want students from other schools or other tuitions, teachers or whatever get access to our website. So then you have to make our, your website restrictive. So how do you do that? Now here, if you see, it says, who can view my website? Right now it says anyone. So if you publish this website right now, whoever has this link of your website will be able to open your website. But if you want to keep it restricted that only my students should be able to see, then you need to change this setting. So from Clicking on manage, you need to change this published website is right now public. So it will have to be changed to restricted. And then you will have to put the student's account, web, uh, what is the email addresses, make them not an editor, but a published viewer. Because if you give them editing right, they will start messing up with your website. Okay, so two things you have to remember if you want to make your website restricted. The first from public, make it to restricted. Second, put in the names of the students whom you want to give access to this website. Third thing, do not allow them to be editors. Manage make account. Them... Hello. Just... 
Is there any question anybody has to ask? Okay. Do you have any question? I'm sorry for, for the internet. No, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. Okay, so I'll again repeat this. So in case you want to not have a website which is accessed by everybody, by default, it will always be public. So if you publish this website and you give the URL, anybody will be able to access your website. But if you do not want that, then you need to come to the option, manage, change this publish site from public to restricted. And then you'll have to put in the email address of student because until and unless you don't put their email address, they'll not be able to access. So let's say I put my email address. Again, remember, never allow them to be an editor because if they are editors, they will change things. So change their rights to published viewers. So when this website will get published, only this ID, which have been mentioned, will be able to access my website. Rest, nobody will be able to. And then you click on share. Okay, so it will say, specific people will only be able to view your website. Okay, now I'm going to change it back and make it to public only because I need to share my website back with you all. So I'm making it back to publish. Okay. Right. And then last option you will get is search setting. It says you don't want your website to come in the search engine. Okay, you put some material, you get everything on Google search. If you don't want your website to be seen on Google search, then have a check there. If you want, don't have a check. So it says request public search engines to not display my site. So if you have a tick there, then in Google search, your website will not, uh, will not appear if anybody is trying to search. But if you, do not keep a check, then your website will be seen by everyone. And once these settings are done, then you can click on publish. Okay, something went wrong. Okay, let me try again. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, can you please repeat what you've just uh, done in custom domain? For which one? Uh, like just now what we have done. After which part? It is public or uh, after that? Okay, after that, so, I just, I this last part, search settings. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so search settings is basically, if you don't want your website to appear when somebody is searching for, say, maybe class eight science website, and you don't want your website to be appearing there, then you have to put a check here. Then it will not come in your search, anybody searches. But if you want, okay, 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 mene kuch banaya hai, which I want everybody to make use of, then just have a check not being there, and then you can click on publish. Okay, and then you will get a message at the bottom, your website has been published. Now, how do you get the link of your website, which you want to share it with your student? Now, where we had the preview icon, next to that, there is a link. Open that link and this is your link which you can share with everybody to see your website. Okay, so I've just shared my website with you. Even Mega Ma'am shared her website with me. I share it back with everyone. This is Mega Ma'am's, the second one. Okay, so this icon is what you need to click on to get your website link. So I copy this and I'll come show you all how it looks now. So this is how it's going to look. It is class materials. And it has contact information. Okay. Now, last one thing that you need to remember. Now, this website, of course, you're going to keep upgrading, changing, adding stuff, removing stuff. Now, every time you add or remove information, the website needs to be republished. How will you do that? So let me just show you one thing. From contact us, I'm just removing my social media stuff. Okay, I'm just deleting this off. Now, I have made some kind of a change. It is deleted.
addition you could even add something but once i have done this i have to republish means i have to just again click one more time on publish it will say there were changes here and you will say fine and then you publish it again so when you do that what happens is that your website also get updated on the real front the real front nitto see how it's not got updated yet let me check again see now it's gone my social media links are not see so every time you want the website has got changes republish it publish it again so that people can see those changes have that you've made on your website okay never forget this as you will see you will keep thinking i am making so much changes why is it not reflecting why is it not reflecting so always keep in mind that you have to have to have to publish it again clear everyone can you repeat that if we want to change something how to go about you can just delete let's say you want to delete something you want to add more things you can add okay. more materials okay you've just deleted that mm -hmm. let's say i have deleted this form i'm just Fine. deleting it okay so it's gone from my editable site but my students also should see that so i just need to click on this publish and publish it again so that when my students now open the website they will see that there is some change okay see now it's still not updated again i'll refresh again and i'll refresh it it takes a while to show it see it's gone my form is gone so now this is what my students will see also when i share this website okay clear everybody any questions no ma'am okay um, now we are going to look yes ma'am i have one question yes uh, yes if we want to change uh, some of uh, setting in publish like if i forgot to uh, you know deny the uh, this thing to show my website to everyone then how to hmm. go about it without that if i okay. publish so they display my okay. website also uh, yes now if we want to make changes next to publish there is an icon okay there's a small arrow if you click there you have an option publish setting so come here and make your changes and then save it and then republish it it will all get changed and saved okay next to this publish you have an publish setting yes when when i am clicking that i am not getting the option which uh, says request public search engines to not display here here search setting it's there uh, yeah i can see uh, in your uh, this thing website refresh but... refresh refresh okay. and do it okay 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 yes. thank you so much okay now so i'm going to be taking a quiz at the end of this workshop because we have something very exciting for everybody and that's specifically for the students with the bed training we are going to have a quiz of 15 16 marks it's 10 10 questions everybody does it independently and whoever is the highest scorer will give will be getting something at the end of today's session okay now let's just go through some bit of my presentation which is pending is why teachers need to be both proficient in using technology in education pandemic has was there which made us really make use of it but it is not the only reason that the teachers should be so good or proficient in using technology there has been a huge availability of digital resources especially in the school front okay the k12 students have so much of digital content that it is actually being said that in few years time the textbooks are probably not going to be there for kids they'll have everything digitally so content like digital content there are websites which you get so much of content with ar which is augmented reality simulation and so much of digital content is available for free so students themselves can only access and learn so then what is it that a teacher can do the teacher can actually use this and make their lessons more interesting 
by the world economic forum it's also been said that in the next 10 years time 9 out of the 10 jobs will require digital skill so it's going to be extremely important for teachers to know this that yes they will also need to upgrade themselves in using technology and now by technology i don't mean just using powerpoint and videos that's also what people a lot of people have this okay i'm using technology but i'm using what i'm just using powerpoint and i'm just using videos there is so much more available for on in the internet okay also you are building your digital gap between the students because students are far more smarter than us you can do a lot of personalization i'm sure you must have learned this topic of differentiation personalization you know catering to individual needs these are the words which are commonly used with digital resources you can do it very very easily you want to share some specific content with certain set of students you can do it with definitely website is just one of the tools that we've learned but there are many other such tools through which you can do this personalization you are developing 21st century skills in learn these are going to be the required skills most important everybody is talking about the national education policy is talking about the international curriculum the cambridge the ib is talking about the cbsc the icsc for everybody is talking that the teacher should know how to develop 21st century skills in their learning and that's what exactly you are going to be able to do the moment you start as teachers use technology this is another concept which has been mentioned in the national education policies of hybrid learning that's a combination of classroom and online learning so certain concepts which are simple give it to the students let them study back from home let them come back with their doubts in the class and you do higher order thinking skill tasks okay it's going to improve your productivity i'm sure this everybody knows that it saves a lot of time something when you go to school there's so much of repetitive work that the teachers have to do every year okay being in 14 years working in school i know the kind of documentation teachers maintain that is if it's digitally kept with you just edit some part of it and you are done you have just done and you are out, ready to give your submissions to your heads and this is another area where there have been immense increase in the online jobs so many online portals are available that you can actually apart from being a teacher in a school if you have the time in the evening you just have to give for 5 hours and that's an additional income that you can earn okay so these are some benefits as teachers if you become digitally smart you know that you can do things for your students and for yourself now we are going to come back to this and this is what the thing is one top performer on the quiz is going to be getting 100% scholarship to the google certified educator program what is this program it's a world renowned program given certified by google which says that you are digitally competent to use technology in the classroom you get a certificate from google with along with a badge which you can make use of you are actually going to be able to use some around 18 plus google tools and other tools in classroom effectively okay this is some an overview of what all can you do using google application websites you've learned today there are forums you have digital classroom ar vr in a lesson create playlist channels analyze data data analysis is going to be also another important thing that's going to come in the field of tech education too okay now if you become a certified educator this is how you can put it up as a branding in your resume okay so when you apply to schools people know okay you have this badge means you are somebody who knows technology okay you can make a difference in your resume okay somebody is just writing okay i worked in a secondary school i've handled information i have done kind of clubs and everything but here you writing i've differentiated my lessons using google classroom i have had made a classroom website for success stories and i have made forums for student discussion 
so you know you give a very very different impact when you write these especially once you do certification you will be able to implement it and then you'll be able to write about it in your resume as well another thing you can do is you put it up in your mails as a signature so you are most of you all will start emailing it to schools you can actually put this up also and yes your linkedin profile you can mention about that you are a google certified educator and yes the website as i said put up make a website put that link in your cv and send across your website all right and these are the people who really can do it everybody who is related to the field of education can actually do these certification all right so and this are the advantages some of them are very very interesting it gives you a tech credibility it is going to give you an edge over somebody who's not so tech savvy so two freshers one certified one not certified you will yourself have an answer to this question that yes i am somebody who will be probably preferred more than the other one who's not certified okay all right so i am going to be putting up the link and i'm going to put up the qr code as well up so that in case you want to scan and and you want to put it you want to do it on the phone you can still do it i'm putting up this uh, link of the quiz on the chat as well to everybody so i have put it up over here in the chat and i am just going to share my screen again so that you can scan the qr code as well okay so please scan or please click on the link and start doing the quiz okay and yes in the quiz at the end is going to ask you for your name keep make sure you put your name correctly in the way you want it to appear in the certificate because once the names have come to us we'll generate and we'll send it email it across to all the students we won't be able to make any changes so check your spellings check whether you want your first name middle name and the last name in the whichever order you want but do not just put your first name and just leave it there okay so please be careful when you have to put your name you keep it in the way you want it on your certificate all right so i hope everybody has started the quiz can i have some thumbs ups if any in the chat i'll put the link again okay great okay i'm putting the link again one more time so that in case you have got logged out and you have logged in again then you have this or just scan it from your camera you will be able to scan the barcode and you will be able to start the quiz okay just 10 questions be quick and do not discuss and write because it's a competition because whoever is the highest scorer our team will get in touch with you now not today but on monday so that uh, we'll also inform the college that this is one who will be getting the access to the self paced program of google certified educator level 1 and our the examination that you have to give even that cost will be borne by our company okay so you just have to go through that whole program do the certification and definitely go back to your professors and tell that you have done that so that they feel proud that okay something that they have offered you you've made best out of okay. ma'am this is anju yes ma'am ma'am just a query is this hmm. uh... Google form open for us because uh, we all teachers are also participating. Yes, yeah, so I will request the teachers. I will just request the teachers. Uh, put in your email. The first thing I will ask for your email address, and then there are questions. Uh, yes, do not do not fill up the question. Just click on True. next, and okay. then just fill up your details so that we can generate certificates for you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. All right. Please independently do the quiz. All right.
Till then, if anybody has any kind of queries, you can put it up in the chat or you can unmute yourself and ask so that we can utilize this time. I've taken 10 minutes additional because 10 minutes of mine were taken by principal man, sorry ma'am. But I had to complete everything so that I give all the information. We have this competition and you will see that whoever gets that is going to be very happy doing the program and definitely you will see when they actually start giving lessons using these things there's like absolutely great things that they can do And for those who think, what if there's a tie? What are we going to do? So we are also able to capture the person who's done it in the shortest duration. So that person is going to get if there's a tie at the same position. Okay, so don't worry. Any questions? Minute question. All right. So you could definitely visit our website, which is upeducators.com. On the top, you will get to see the certifications we offer, if you are interested, definitely open up the Google Certified Educator course. You'll get the entire outline, the syllabus, how it is, and everything, the cost of the program and everything. And you will see a lot of reviews, video reviews of teachers who are trained. They've been teachers in the regular schools who are at a lot of number of experience. We have had principals of schools also coming and doing things with us. So like a whole complete video library, which you can access also. All right. The cost and everything is mentioned under this Google Certified Educator Program. And you will be able to scroll down and check that out. All right. All right, so I have a question in the chat. Somebody is asking me that what the cost of the program. So it's 8,000 rupees, but yes, because we've done this program with your college, we are offering a discount and we'll offer the same program for your students in 6,000 rupees, okay? So in case anybody wishes to continue and become a certified educator, you have a chance and this also is going to get each one of you a certificate. So even that's going to be more than enough for start to start with. So I am done talking everything. I have, I think, students who also come fill in the forms. Yeah, I have a lot of entries which have come. So... Day is first. So I have 31 who have completed the quiz. So yes, yes, some more are coming in, some more are coming in. So, great. So thank you all very much. Thank you, ma'am, Mega ma'am, and Anju ma'am. Uh, thank you very much to allow us. Our team is very excited uh, because it is very nice to see that colleges are allowing because uh, I was just a little apprehensive that I don't know if colleges are going to allow 
maybe 14 years back they were very rigid maybe now with the new set of principles who are coming in because i was always comparing to what we would experience 14 years back uske baad i have not gone back to my college uh, only in the alumni meets i do go uh, but uh, i have seen that at that time you know somebody wants to do something you know or we don't have the time or something 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 but i think with the pandemic things are more flexible people are now okay to do things online as well they don't want resource person ke aana hi hai school mein and uh, yes that's one thing and just one last thing i want a picture of the entire group i'll take a snapshot so if those who are in a position to put on their camera please do so so that we can have a good picture i can share it back with your college as well and the college can also pick, take a snapshot of it and uh, we you can put it up on your social media we can put it up on our social media and you can definitely i'm spoiling sure the colleges have newsletters and everything so you can publish it there as well yes so i think all the students are in school i guess great have a, yes, having a good good number of students very nice very nice. yeah i i sorry i tend to say school because i have always been associated <laughs> with school <laughs> okay. and i for me it it very naturally comes school but it's also school of education right we call yes, it as school, school of, of education. education yes yes So, so, yes. uh, so from my side also, uh, you know, uh, special gratitude for you, Sonam Ma'am, because you taught Thank you, very, ma'am. you know, step by step, and uh, with your, yeah. you know, pace also you gave to each and every one. Uh, I can Thank also you. do it with you. That is a, you know, a great right, thing. Right. Because I prepared my website for the first time. Right. Uh, let me tell you this thing. Mm-hmm. And I told to right. all my student teachers that learn whenever you are getting the opportunities. Do not say no to any of the things. Yeah. And this is Absolutely how we are learning correct. math. Absolutely yeah. correct. Absolutely correct. And the pandemic yes. shows us that yes. yes, we need to be updated at every moment of time. And whenever we are getting chances sure. or opportunities, if you miss once, we cannot get it again. so that is how is uh, you know right. uh very thankful to you ma'am sona ma'am when you approached i instantly Thank gone you so through the things and i said yes, yes we have yes. to go with this and my all students yes. must be very happy to learn this always um yes. also the teacher educators maybe we can have one or two students to speak ma'am if possible yeah sure 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 definitely and uh, if you can share i mean uh, the recorded video if possible sure sure sure, sure. thank you sure, so much sure, sure. yes sure. feedback from so the uh, students yeah first we'll take a picture so everybody can smile yeah, and then sure. you can have yeah so yeah. say cheese everybody one more thank you yeah anju ma'am can we proceed yeah. so anybody would like to share feedback yes yeah. students ashruti please call me Okay, thank you, ma'am. If thank anybody you. has any question, please free to ask. Questions, feedback. Maybe yes, this ma'am was okay. talking a lot. Well, already. I don't have any questions. Okay, but I have a feedback to share. Right. So, ma'am, I would like to say thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, and that uh, you made it really very simple to learn how to create a website of our own. Thank you. I think because everybody is fitting together, there's an echo that's happening. That's echo. the only reason. Yeah. So no worries. So great. I'm very happy. Uh, we'll be sending your certificates by Monday. Okay. In that you will have. Yeah. Please excuse no, me, no. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm just a query. I have closed my mm-hmm. website now. So now hmm. once again, if I want to find out, where do I search this? Dot google.com and the book okay. bottom. I show you okay. at the bottom. You will see the website uh, appearing again. Just a second. Let me just open and show it to you. Slides. Dot google.com. Sites. 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 Okay. Sites. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sites. Dot google.com. You can go and here. Oh, sorry. Not on. this id another id of sites okay so once you open that you will have 
recent sites, you will have your website here. Okay. Because okay. I was I'll just show you this. Uh, nine. Yeah, yeah. No, no. no. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. You. In 9.0, you don't have the option of sites, okay? Yes, so just to show show you students this is how in the school that i was working previously to this organization this is where we've done a online science exhibition in our school and we made a whole website through this the parents were able to navigate and go through go to a particular classroom and watch the presentation just to show you that this is what is possible and that you can do it so learn so we had put the grades, the parent wants to go to grade one, they went and went to grade one, and then they saw what kind of projects were there and who were the members, what are the timings. And then they just had to click on this to enter the classroom. Okay, so basically it was linked to the Zoom, Zoom ID of the uh, meeting. So they just had to click there and they would have entered. And then if they want to come back and see other options we had kept. So it was very, very, very interactive and parents were so happy to use this case. Okay, they were really surprised at how are we going to do the online science activity. So that's what it's possible when practically also if you want to really do an event-based thing, you can really make a website. Okay. So thank you, everybody. I think we have some vote of thanks and the uh, national yes, anthem. So we can just proceed with that. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Feeling gratitude yes, sir. and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. So I, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, our esteemed guest, Honorable Principal, respected teachers, and my beloved friend, I, Prati Jain, student teacher of Thakur Shamnarayan College of Education and Research, take the honor to extend both of thanks. I thank my respected uh, trustee, Sri Rakesh Singhji, and our principal, Dr. Mega Woke Man, for giving us this wonderful opportunity to learn about website making. Further, I would sincerely thank our resource person, Sonam Kavan Man, uh, for, from Up Educator for sparing her valuable time and systematically and clearly educating us on how to prepare a website, what are the steps of uh, creating a website, what all is included, what can be included in a website, for example, pictures, videos. Uh, in today's digital world, it is very important for us as teachers to be tech savvy. Man, your system is very wonderful and Thank you. It, it has been very, very helpful. It will surely enhance our teaching and learning process, ma'am. So once again, on behalf of our college, TSCER, thank you so much, ma'am, to you and your institute of educators. We look forward to many more such, uh, work, such workshops, ma'am. With deep gratitude, Definitely. I express with deep gratitude, I express my thanks to teaching and non-teaching staff of our teacher coordinator, Dr. Anjita Kloosman, and our student council coordinator, Ms. Hasiki Thakur. I also uh, extend my thanks to Ms. Shreya Mitra for the brief introduction, our photographers, Mr. Vitendra Tiwari, and Ms. Hiral uh, Goy. This, uh, our reporter, Ms. Muskan Yadav. Thanks to the Blooming Birds of PSER for their active participation. With this feeling of gratitude and immense knowledge, I thank each one present here. We will surely make use of today's learning in our teaching and learning process. So, to conclude the workshop, now I request you all to kindly rise to the national anthem and please unmute yourself. Yes, <laughs> I'm 
thank you thank you thank you everybody thank you everybody a lot and we will check we can give you the recording how we can give it because it will be a good file in terms of the size so we'll yes. see how we can share it yes all right sure, sure. yeah thank, thank you. you so much bye. thank you bye thank have you. a great thank weekend you. thank you everybody. you too bye 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 bye, bye. bye. thank, thank you. you bye so you all can start leaving the meeting thank you students bye bye thank you so much ma'am thank you